Hi guys, this is Minecraft, but it is, and it's not. Um, this is a game that I used to play a lot more than I do now. I've recently not really played it as much. Um, uh, I am revisiting it because... Because yes. Yes, I'm playing it on mobile. That's because, uh, the Chromebook that I use to play it mostly can't really record. Um, so this is pretty much as good as it gets. I'm just going to be going over a few things about this game to any of you that are new. I know there's going to be at least one person watching this video that has that does know this game. And they don't really need to see this video because this is pretty much just explaining what they already know. Basically, this is a game where it's not exactly two-dimensional because as you can see right up there there's it still has a side to the blocks. There's also blocks that aren't in normal Minecraft, like ruby blocks, which are one of the main currencies. Um, there And these blocks here, they're just like to trade, basically. There's a lot of things in this game that I can't really explain, but the to put it simply, it's basically a game for people that want to have want to have similar fun as you could in Minecraft but for free instead. This is a completely free game. I'm probably going to have a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. But, um I personally I like to do pixel art. So I created this map art is going to be my team logo. Um, I'm going to can make a team, I guess, which you, which anyone can pretty much do. The only thing that's difficult about it is getting people to actually join it. But yeah, I like to make art and stuff in this game. That's what I find fun. Also, I have a farm here where I collect rubies it's very inefficient my armor is also very bad well not very bad uh but it could be way better so i'll show you how this works you just my sword has sharpness 100 but and smite 250 but that's pretty much uh if i can can't really see it, dang it. Oops. I hate it when I zoom in. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, you can't really click too fast, otherwise it'll zoom in. But basically you kill the wardens, they'll probably they they will drop drop like up to a hundred rubies, I think. And they'll also drop enchanted books and things called, I think, I honestly don't remember, I haven't played this in a while, oh, uh, hold on, let me get this warden off my back, maybe he'll drop, I th oh yeah, it's lottery cases, so wardens can also drop lottery cases as well, which can give you enchanted things, which sometimes will give you level 100 stuff if you're really lucky, which is what most people are trying to get. Let me. You can also toggle on and off if you want to pick up things automatically. I usually have it off because this stuff is usually just going to go into the hoppers. I got two lottery cases. When you open them, you just click. I got a bow, only level 4 stuff. Curse of Vanishing 56, not that good, but not that bad. I'll keep it. But yeah, this is basically how the game is. I'm probably going to have a few episodes. Not that many. Like, probably um, only a couple a month or so. Because I just think Minecraft is more fun, personally. I still like to visit this, though, every once in a while. Because it is a really fun game. And I do recommend it to those that want to try it out. So, yeah. Um... That's pretty much it for this video. 
keep your keep a lookout for the next one if you are interested and click the link in the description to check out the game itself it's free and also subscribe because it helps me out a ton and i'm getting really close to 50 subscribers so if you could help me get if you could help get me there that'd be great uh see you in the next episode